Hi guys, it's Robin and welcome back to my channel. Today on the Robin's Nest, we are going to be making this coronavirus quarantine birthday cake with a bit of a girly twist because I know a lot of us have had to spend our birthdays a little bit different this year, myself included, and it kind of sucked. But I think it's still really important to try to have fun and lots of laughs and not take life too seriously. So I think this cake is a perfect little lighthearted way of celebrating while still conveying a really important message. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. So we're going to start this cake like we normally do, and that's by leveling our layers. So as you can see, I've baked up three 6-inch vanilla rounds, and we are going to just decide how high we want these to be. Then we're going to use either a serrated knife or your cake leveler, and we're just going to saw the top little bit off of each of these cakes to make them nice and level. And then I'm going to flip each one of my layers over and we're going to trim off that caramelization as well. So once you've leveled your layers and you've cleaned up all that crummy mess, you're going to grab your buttercream and you're going to mix up the color of your choice. And today I'm going with a pretty purple color and I've achieved that using Wilton's Violet and a couple of drops of Americolor Deep Pink to brighten it up. So we're just going to take a little bit of buttercream and we're going to apply it to our cake board and then we're going to secure our cake. And we have a few things going on our cake board, so we're going to make this a little bit off-centered. And then we're going to proceed to fill our layers. Now this next part is completely optional, but when I'm making a customer specialty cake like this one, I like to go the extra mile. So I like to trim off all of this caramelization, so that way when you cut into the cake, all you see is a beautiful slice and not all of that burnt looking stuff. So we're just going to use our serrated knife and I'm just going to gently trim off the edge of the cake. Okay, so now that I finished trimming off all my caramelization, I'm going to clean up all this mess and then we're going to start our crumb coat. And for those of you who don't know what a crumb coat is, it's just a thin layer of icing spread out all over your cake to seal in all the crumbs in preparation for your final coat of icing. Okay, now that I got my crumb coat all smoothed out, it's time to chill our cake for a little bit. And while we're waiting for that, we're going to start making some of our little fondant decorations. And also, if you haven't done so already, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button, check out some of my other great cake videos when you're done watching this one, and ring that bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a new video. So for such a tiny cake, there are actually quite a few really simple decorations, but some of them take a little bit of drying time. So we're going to start with those first. So I'm going to use a little bit of brown and a little bit of white fondant here, and I'm going to make our little mini toilet paper roll first. So as you can see, I just mixed up a little bit of green fondant and I'm going to use this to create the shape of the bottle. Then I'm going to make a little white bottle cap to go on the top and then I'm going to paint the label on the front. So for this 
this part I'm going to be using some toothpicks cut in half, a circle piping tip that I'm going to use as a circle cutter, and some purple fondant. So I'm going to roll out some little tiny sausages that we're going to fit our little half toothpicks into, and then I'm going to roll it out nice and thin, and we're going to use our circle cutter to create the little circles on the end of the ends. So the last big decoration is going to be a protective medical mask. So I'm going to roll it a little bit of blue fondant and trim it with a little bit of white and that's going to go on the front of our cake. Okay, now that we've finished with all of our larger decorations that need some time to dry, we can go ahead and start our final coat of icing. Now once we get that all smoothed out and looking the way we want it to, I'm going to actually create a cute little angry face for our virus, and then we can start to add all our finishing touches. Alrighty, we're almost done, so that means it's time to finish up. So we're going to go grab the cake and we're going to add all of our decorations, then I'm going to add a little personalized message on our cake board, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Well guys, here it is, my coronavirus quarantine birthday cake, and I love it. I think the purple looks so cute, and I really hope you guys all like it too. If you do, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up, and lots of love in the comments.